Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another game tutorial by Rexfury. Let's start by getting this out of the way. Alright, so today we're going to be learning about tile sets, how to use them, and uh, just a little bit about tile sets, uh, different ways to use them, and uh, how to create your own tile set. And uh, so yeah, alright, so let's get started. I want to make this a fairly short tutorial because it is so easy to use tile sets, so um, yeah, hopefully this will be a short tutorial, um, but we'll see. Alright, so anyway, the first thing that you want to do to create a tile set is you actually want to go up here and create a background, alright? And a background is basically um, the same exact, I it's just, I don't know why they really call it background, um, maybe it's just because um, it's what you use to create your background in your games usually, I don't know. Um, basically it's just a tile set editor. All right, so I'm just going to call this, um, you know what, actually, never mind. I'm just going to leave it background zero. Um, you don't really need to call it anything. Um, so let's see. Let's go edit background. And I'm just going to draw something really quick on a um, 32 by 32 palette. All right, so I'm just going to draw a simple square here with... Um, Let's see. Okay, with a checker kind of, <coughs> excuse me, kind of background thing. All right, and then this one's black. Okay, so there we go. We have our checkered little background piece. All right, so now basically what we've just created here is um, all a background, of course, um, but basically a tile is what we've just created. It's a little box that we can use, just like sprites in our rooms, to uh, layer all out. So I will show you guys that in just a second. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go right here where it says use as tile set, and we're just going to click that once. And if you are using Game Maker Lite it, uh, and you don't see this uh, little uh, little checkbox here, you can, you're can you probably not in advanced mode. Um, to go to advanced mode, you just go file and advanced mode. When you click it, and the little um, black check mark right here will show up telling you that you are in advanced mode. And you can toggle it on and off by just cl uh, left clicking on and off of it. Um, it just brings a couple new features to your Game Maker Lite or Game Maker Pro engine. Um, so yeah, good thing to have on. Uh, yeah. All right. So now here, when we have uh, click this uh, tile set button, um, uh, we'll see the uh, title or excuse me, tile width, tile height, horizontal offset, vertical offset, vertical separation, and vertical separation, uh, horizontal separation. Sorry. So what this is doing basically is I don't think you guys can see it. Um, let me change this to 8. All right, and see there's these little lines here. Uh, let me change the other one to 8 too. All right, now you see there's a whole bunch of little checkers here. Um, I'm going to go over that after uh, I show you guys how to set the uh, tiles in your room. All right, so um, and I'll, keep, I'll go over all this after I show you guys what uh, you could do with this tile in your room. All right, so just hit OK for now. And uh, now you want to do is create a room, or what you want to do rather. I'll just turn off the grid here, enlarge it, and I'm just going to go to, actually let's go to backgrounds first. All right, and what I'm going to do is where it says no background, I'm just going to go right here and choose my tile that I've just created. And when I hit it, you'll notice that the whole entire room just it, it just kind of uh, repeats the, uh, the tile or background that we've just made. I'm just going to call it title, or excuse me, tile from now on because it is just easier and it makes more sense for the tutorial purposes. All right, so it just repeats the whole entire t uh, uh, tiles in a room here to create one big background. Now, let's say you'd only want um, a row of these on the bottom, and you don't want to go through and uh, just kind of layer them, uh, just kind of click and or hold shift rather than left click and drag. Um, let's say you want to do it using the background option for your room. So what you would do is right here where you um, uh, below where you chose your background, um, you can go, let's see, uncheck all these. All right, so now we just have one left, all right? So let's see, what, let's say you want w um, a row of your tiles here on the bottom of your room. So how you would do that is you would go title horizontal because horizontal is, you know, left and right. And you would just go for the Y because Y is vertical up and down. Um, I think it's 900, is that the bottom? No. Um, it is 800? No. Okay, maybe it's like 200. Okay, no. But um, as you can see here, um, I by switching the numbers, um, I can easily just kind of... There we go. Okay, actually... Um, 447? 448? Okay, there we go. 
All right, so I guess it's 448 for the Y. Um, so basically what you're doing with these is it's setting the uh, coordinates, uh, the X and Y coordinates of where the um, uh, your uh, kind of tiles are going to be laid out. All right, and you could always just check uh, the uh, uncheck the tile horiz or tile horizontal rather, and uh, check the vertical. And so as you can see, you can really play with this a lot. Um, that's kind of just the basics of it. Um, also, there's the stretch right here. Okay, I'm just going to turn this back to zero. Okay, and what this does is it takes your little um, uh, your little tile here. I'm just going to hit stretch. As you can see, it stretch out. Sh uh, excuse me, stretch uh, stretches out, rather. Uh, sorry. Um, the whole entire tile to fit your room. So I don't use this often, but I have used it in the past. Um, I can't really give you any examples of why it would be good. Um, you can figure that out. You might end up needing it. I don't know, but yeah. All right, and this, um, I'm not sure if the horizontal and vertical speed affects your tiles. Um, well, actually, yeah, it would because it's a background. So yeah, if you, you guys probably already know what this is, but I'm just going to quickly explain it anyway. Uh, when you run your game, you can change this to like a speed of five or a speed of negative five, which is left. And when your when your uh, game starts, your background or your tile that you place for your background in your uh, in your game will move um, through your room. All right. So uh, yeah, th so that's basically the basics of that um, controlling it that way. Now let's say you want to control your or put your tiles in your room, uh, uh, like um, just regular uh, one at a time. All right. So what you would do is right here you go to the tiles menu and again you have to have advanced mode on you just choose which tile you want right now I currently only have one alright and we can layer oh hang on okay I'll explain what I just did in a second here okay huh okay so anyway as you can see uh, I'm sorry about that I didn't really know what was going on Okay, so as you can see, right now, when we go, let's actually go back into our tile here. So right now, it says, when we use this, uh, let's uncheck this, actually, the use this tile set. All right, so now let's place our uh, tile. Okay, choose it again, because we've just made a change to our tile, so we have to re-choose our tile. All right, so now, as you can see, we can uh, just place our tiles anywhere we want in the room, and uh, just singly. All right, so that's how to do that. Um, basically, singly place um, your tiles in your room. And let's say um, when it goes like, okay, let not like that. Okay, um, let's say you want a tile like this, and you when you do that, uh, your other tile disappears, and you don't want that. So that is because it is del it's overlapping your tile, and automatically by default, uh, because this box is checked down here, delete underlining, it will delete it. So let's say you wanted to just be able to have it like this without deleting the second tile. You just uncheck that, and there you go. So yeah, basically that's the delete underlying tool. I use that a lot. Um, so yeah, now last thing, uh, go back into your tile. You, uh, check the uses tile set. And as you can see, um, we have 16 by 16 again. All right, so now let's hit OK and choose our tile again. All right, so now what you could do is there's, I don't know if you could see it, there's a little box right here that I'm, uh, choosing each individual square, uh, it's 16 pixel size box or whatever. Um, so basically, what this is doing is um, using as tile sets can allow you to choose different parts of your tile that you've created, or select rather, and place them into the room. So yeah, that's basically what that does. Um, that's been tile sets for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and there will be more on the way. Please feel free to request a tutorial. I know this tutorial is really short or hopefully really short, I don't know yet. Um, and I hope I didn't talk too fast for you guys, um, but I'm just trying to make this a short tutorial because it is fairly simple and it's really easy to, uh, to kind of play around with and figure out. So yeah, this has been Rex Furry with another game tutorial. And like I just said before, there will be more in the way. Feel free to request some and subscribe to me if you like. I'm constantly making videos. Well, I don't know, kind of constantly, <laughs> as much as I can. So uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, so I guess that's the end of the tutorial. Have a great day, and uh, yeah, see ya.